What the heck was that? That sucker came flying in. That's just all from up there. I'm armed. There's more than one. So I'm not thinking Bigfoot no more. That was a psychopath. That was for sure a psychopath. Yep. Welcome back to another camping adventure, fam. This is part two of this series, and I'm Jer Bear. So, this is what we're going to be working with tonight. That's it. Bare bones, baby. Bare bones. I do have that, uh, I do have that reflector under there. So in part one, we got our campsite all together. We got our fire going. We got our tent pitched. It is becoming much cooler now. Now, right now, it's currently about 40 degrees out. You know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I think it's going to be like 26, 27 or something like that. Much better than the 9 degrees it was the last time we was camping with a real feel of negative 10. That was freezing. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, how are you going to stay warm then, Bear? That's still pretty freaking cold. This is all we're using. Rechargeable hand warmers that my wife got me. They say they're supposed to stay hot for 6 to 12 hours on a full charge. So, I already did run them on the charger. We'll be unboxing them later, though, because it did have a nice little box. It was boxed up nice. So, we will see how good these suckers warm up. I do know? have big, thick socks on. I am bundled up. I got a hoodie, big, thick flannel. I got my beanie. You know, granted, that is cold, but I think we're going to be okay. So yeah, much darker now, much colder now. now. I'll be honest, for a minute I was thinking about reading my Bible. And uh, I didn't. You guys gotta check this toasty fire out though. Alright guys, so it is getting colder out now. I say now's a good time. It's probably around 10 o'clock or so. So now would be a good time to fire up those uh, rechargeable hand warmers. I'm really curious to see if they'll last all night. When I wake up in the morning, are they still warm? If they are, I'd, I'd give them a double thumbs up. Anyway, yeah, let's go check those out. Bare minimum, guys. This is what we're going to be testing out tonight. Rechargeable hand warmers. And let's see, color's green. And R-O-H-S, Ross. So that's the brand, Ross. Yeah, let's get them opened up. So you open them up, it's got a little hard case in it. And there you go. These are the hand warmers. Charging cable. So what do you guys think? Looks pretty cool. Alright, let's see how they work. Pop that out. Oh, okay. There it is. Well, maybe. Well, this one. Okay, so the light goes off. I wonder why. I wonder if you have to hold them for them to work. No. All right, guys, it did have directions. It was underneath this thing. I just had to pull this tray out. And uh, there they were. Let's see what they have to say. 
And that is it. We are roughing it tonight. The one thing that I do wish I would have remembered was a pillow. I didn't even think about it. I was thinking about bare minimum. Well, so that's what we did. Actually, I just forgot it. But yeah, bare minimum. I gotta say, pretty impressed so far. Like that is really warm. It might just keep me pretty toasty tonight. Awesome. So some of you probably haven't even seen the other videos, but in those, I've done some Bigfoot knocking. I've uh, left them an offering of bananas, apples, um, did some woots. I did a Bigfoot call for the first time. I think it was pretty... Branch just fall there? You guys hear that? It's like right outside the tent. All right, so I'm thinking maybe now that we got these fired up, we... Uh check out the offering tree maybe the lake so So, I turned my light low and uh, been sitting here probably maybe 10 minutes just listening. And nothing. So, alright guys, so I'm going to take you all to the offering tree because uh, I don't think I showed you that yet in this video. So, those of you that haven't seen it are about to see it. So, yeah, let's go take a little walk. Man, I could use a better flashlight, too. I gotta say, this flashlight is not very impressive. Alright, offering tree. Let me show you. Let me try to get this light a little better, too. There we go. That's more better. That's more better. Something seemed off. What the... heck was that? That sucker came flying in. That just fall from up there? That's what I was telling you guys about the widow makers when you're pitching your tent. Like that was, I don't know what that was, but imagine if that was a monster limb now. What the? What is that noise coming from the lake? So yeah, in uh, part one I had mentioned that this time I was going to do no knocks, no whoops, and leave them no food because you guys have been commenting that all those things are bad to do, which I didn't know. I don't really know how else you, you know, try to communicate with them. Yeah, it is like pitch black tonight. Is there no moon? Can you guys see that up there? I mean, there is a bunch of stars. Like, it is a very clear, pretty night. But, uh, I don't think there is a moon. Like, not even a little bit of one. Did you guys hear that? That was a big freaking bang by camp. Um... The woods is becoming alive. Oh yes, here we go. Here's the offering tree. Oh, I crap my pants if now there was something up there. I just got the chills even thinking about it. But yeah, so a couple videos ago I left an offering. I left them a couple apples, banana. And then uh, I don't know if he took them or another animal. But they're gone. Like, there is no signs of anything now. Thought I heard something down at this bank. Probably a coon. Trying to rustle up some dinner. Rassle. Is it rustle or rassle? Keep your eyes open, though, guys, because these woods are 
freaking scary. You never know. I've, I've sworn I've seen things in them. Actually, in part one, nothing happened. It was actually the most time I've ever spent here with nothing weird happening. And uh, But there was a time that deep in the forest looked like a silhouette of a person. So, yeah. Oh, you can see my lantern in the tent. So yeah, silhouette of a person. But I sat there and stared at that sucker for like five minutes and it never moved. So I chalked it up as shadows maybe. Back in the tent and the hand warmers are... So they've probably been running, probably been about a half hour though. Yeah, probably about a half hour. And it seems like the only thing that's really getting warm is right here, this middle metal piece. Plastic's a little warm. So, I mean, it does, it does give off some warmth, but not what I was, I was sort of hoping for more. I guess if you had nothing, you'd be happy about it. Yeah, I'm happy about it. I'll use them tonight. Ooh, tuck one up in your hat, maybe, like that. That really warms the head up quick. So one on the top of the beanie and one down by the feet, maybe. All right, guys, well, I think I'm going to maybe read my Bible, watch a YouTube video or something for a minute, and uh, check back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so it's a little later now. I uh, almost fell asleep, actually. I was watching a video and uh, caught myself falling asleep. So I did end up breaking out the old uh, camping blanket because it is much colder So I did now. end up putting uh, one of the hand warmers in my pocket and I have one tucked right up in here. Oh, you can see it, yeah, right there. So all right guys, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit of sleep and uh, if I wake back up, uh, I'll check back in. If, uh, if I don't wake back up, I'll see you in the morning. I just heard a, I don't know if I was even all the way asleep or what, but there was a huge crash outside. standing right outside of the tent it walked right up to the tent do you hear it there it is again what the heck is that oh I'm armed. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. Man, whatever that is, I don't know what. I almost feel like it could be people messing with me. I just heard it breathing. Oh!
please no, please no, please no. Please no. Please no. Please leave, please leave. Please leave. I think it's leaving. So it's been about five minutes and um, I haven't heard anything. But uh, my heart's still about to beat out of my chest and uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity and leave right now before whatever that was. It sounded like there was two of them. There's people, creatures, whatever that was. I am leaving before they come back. I do not feel safe. I'm sorry guys, I'm not. Yeah, right now I hear nothing. I'm getting out of here. All right guys, sorry if this is a weird break in the video, but you know, it's been about seven days since the camping trip now, and um, everything, I left everything here, my chair, my tent, everything. And uh, I've just now mustered the courage to come back and get it. So now I got the camera going, just in case anything happens. Oh, no freaking way. Man, wait till you guys see this. Man, I am so glad we left. Man, I'm so glad we left, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Frickin' cinder block. Someone destroyed the frickin' tent. I wonder if they thought I was laying in there when they threw that block on it. Man, that would have messed me up. Man, it looks like somebody was trying to hurt me. Yeah, so it's official. There's a freaking maniac or something out here. Freaking psychopath. Man, that is crazy. Oh, it's ripped up too. Look at all the rips in it. It's like it was cut. Yeah, look. Where's the door at? Anything in there? The door? This is the door. Somebody sliced it up. Oh, I wonder if they just sliced right through the door to look in at me. And I was gone. And so they threw the cinder block. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Look, it's freaking... It's ripped up though. So somebody sliced it up and threw a cinder block on it. So I'm not thinking Bigfoot no more. That was a psychopath. That was for sure a psychopath. So there's a freaking crazy person out here. Man, I'm feeling sick in my stomach. I just heard footsteps. I just heard footsteps over there. All right, we're getting out of here. You guys smash that like I'm never camping in this spot again. Did you hear that scream? Till the next adventure, peace, love you.